Hi, I just realized I was talking and no one could hear me because I didn't leave, I didn't turn my mic back on after going to the break. So that's really nice. But anyways, we'll be going into our fourth segment here, which is going to be talking about the American League and some playoff predictions involving it. So yeah, obviously just went over the entire standings of the American League and the National League. So now in the fourth and fifth segments, we'll be going over the predictions for the playoffs, what the seeds are and all that. So let's get into it. So for the first seed in the American League, I am going to be having the Baltimore Orioles. Not really a surprise here right now. I think they are currently the best team in the American League. I think whoever wins the AL East will end up being the first seed and will get that by. So yeah, I think overall the Orioles make a lot of sense for this. I had them winning the AL East, of course, and I do think that they are going to end up being the first seed in this American League East. And this American League, not just East, obviously. Second place, I'm going to be having the Houston Astros. Now, yes, I have the Astros winning the division. If you want to hear me talk about it more, it's in my third segment, which, of course, is on this YouTube channel as well, if you're watching this after the live stream. And, yeah, I think the Astros will end up winning the division, and I think they'll end up being the second seed in the American League. And if this does happen, which, of course, I think it will, it'll be an incredible, incredible story for this year. Just the Astros going from a team that was maybe the worst in the American League at one point significantly into the season as well not like we were just two weeks in and they were the worst no it was like a month or two in they were one of the worst teams in the american league i mean people were talking about trading kyle tucker trading for Ember valdez like they were talking about the dynasty being over and just the way that they would be able to rebound in this fictitious scenario that i made up in my head and and to be second place i think will be really really good and just an incredible story but yeah i think this astros team is really good and i do have them here in second place Third place, I am going to be having the AL Central winner, of course, the Minnesota Twins. Yes, I have the Twins above the Guardians. If you want to, if you want to go over that, that is my segment two here on this show. So again, if you're watching live or on the live stream, if you're not, you're watching on YouTube. It's on the YouTube channel, going over the Amer- going over the Central standing predictions. So yeah, but yeah, um, obviously, I think they're a little worse than both the both the Astros and the Orioles, but they won the division, so they have to be one of the top three seeds. So I do have them here at third. I don't think they get the bye, which would be unfortunate for them, but that's how it goes, right? Now, the wild card sheets of work gets interesting. If I don't have your team in here, I apologize, and I'll explain why. But for the fourth seed, I am going to be having, of course, the New York Yankees. I think it's obvious that either the Orioles or the Yankees are going to end up being the fourth seed. Whoever doesn't win the AL East will be the top wild card seed, and that's what I have here with the Yankees. So, no surprises here. A great, great team, and yeah, I have them here at fourth. Fifth place, I have the Cleveland Guardians. So yes, even though I do, don't have them winning the American League Central, I do have them still as a playoff team. Um, again, I think the pitching depth is just going to become such an issue for them that this is what's going to happen to them, but I still think they do end up making the playoffs, and I think that overall they'll still end up becoming a really good team for this year. And in the sixth place position, I was down to three teams for it. The Kansas City Royals, the Boston Red Sox, and the Seattle Mariners. But I did end up picking the Mariners to go to the playoffs. Now, I think both the Royals and the Red Sox are very good. I think both have, are going to have a great season and continue their dominance in the second half. But I do think that the Mariners are going to end up being the final wild card seed here. Just because I think their offense is going to get a lot better. And I think overall their pitching is so, so good. And I talked about them being the most dangerous team in the playoffs. They make it, and I still stand by that. I'll go over my predictions after this as well for the seeds and who makes it to the who wins the pennant. But overall, I have the Mariners here at the sixth seed. I wanted to include the include the Royals and Red Sox really, really badly, but I I couldn't find a spot, and I do have them. Uh, I have the playoff picture for this year. Both I think are going to be very, very good for the future, though. So first wild card game, we have the three seeded Twins versus six seeded Mariners. I talked about them. I think the Mariners move on. I think in a three-game series, having the having the front-line starting pitchers they have in Logan Gilbert and Luis Castillo will just be unbeatable, and I think their offense is going to continue to do well. And if they even score two or three runs, I really think the game is over for them. So, yeah, I think this Mariners team ends up getting the upset and defeating the three-seeded Twins to move on to the second round of this playoffs. And for the other wild-card spot, five, four Yankees versus five Guardians, I had the Yankees winning. Unfortunate way for the Guardian season to end in this universe, but overall, I think the Yan- this Yankees team just is going to have more pitching depth in them. Clark Schmidt's coming back as well, which really add in. So, as much as the Guardians' offense is elite, I think the Yankees having home field advantage for all three games, and then also having a, some good starting pitching depth that the Guardians simply don't have, will end up being the reason why they win this series. So next, we are going to be having the two-seeded Astros versus six-seeded Mariners. 
Mariners, of course, move on to the second round after beating the Twins. And this is where it got hard for me. I wanted to make the Mariners to go to the World Series, to be honest with you. That's how much I like the pitching depth they have. But I, to be honest with you, if they would have played any other team but the Ashers in this playoffs, they would have made it. But I think because of the AOS connection, because of the experience the Astros have, because of how good I think they are, I do think the Astros end up winning this series, and I think the Astros move on to the American League Championship Series. What a story that would be, and the Mariners' season does come to an end here, but still a fantastic team I think they have, and if they do make it past this in real life, I would not be surprised one bit with the pitching they have. I feel like I've talked about the Mariners' pitching so much during this episode, but hey, it's true, right? Next, we have the one-seeded Orioles versus the five-seeded Yankees. This four-seeded Yankees, sorry. This was so tough. I didn't know what to pick here for this. I mean, obviously, um, AL East rivals, two teams that have been fighting all year for first place. But this, for simply of for one reason, I went with the Orioles over the Yankees. Now, I thought the Yankees had um, a, you know a lot more advantages than the Orioles. Simply put, the Yankees I thought had better pitching depth, and you know I thought had more experience. But the Orioles are home, and they have better frontline starters. And what I mean by that is. Corbin Burns and Grayson Rodriguez. I think both are absolutely fantastic. And the way I think as long as they get those guys in more than one game, I think they'll be fine. I think it probably goes to six or seven games, to be perfectly honest. But overall, sorry, I think uh, Division Series only go to five, so I think it'll go to four or five, actually. But overall, I think just the way that they have Corbin Burns and, and Grayson Rodriguez in a five-game series, where their offense, in my opinion, is significantly better than them, I think that the the offense and the pitching factors outweigh what the Yankees have better than them. So I do have the Orioles winning the series, and I do have them advancing to the American League Championship Series versus the Houston Astros. Now, this was so hard for me to pick the Astros or the Orioles. I did end up going, though, with the Houston Astros to make the World Series once again just because of the experience they have. Now, what a turnaround this Astros team would have if they end up making the World Series, man. That would be crazy. And unfortunately for baseball fans, because I like seeing madness, I like seeing teams who we don't really usually get to be in the World Series to be in the World Series, but I do think the Astros are going to make it again. I just think it's written in the stars, and I don't think they're they're going anywhere else. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. I don't think the dynasty is over, like some people said. They have their flaws, but I couldn't find a flawless team in the Yale playoff picture this year, and that's the reason I have the Astros going to the World Series. It was very tough between them and the Orioles, but overall, I did end up picking the Astros to win. Now, going back over the American League playoff predictions, once again, just to summarize, I had the Orioles as the one seed, the Astros as the two seed, the Twins as the three seed, the Yankees as the four seed, Guardians as the five seed, Mariners as the fifth seed, then the Astros and Orioles going to the American League Championship Series and the Astros winning. Now, I want to mention the Red Sox and the Royals again, just for clarification. I think both these teams are very good. I think bo- both have similar skill sets to the all the three all three teams Mariners Astro Mariners Royals and Red Sox which is very good pitching but I thought the Mariners pitching was better and I thought the Mariners offense would be much better in the second half which is the reason why I did end up having them above they also have the record advantage they are better both these teams right now currently as they are first place in the AOS only by a game above the Astros which is why I think the Astros are going to end up winning but they have the record advantage I think the offense can be much better in the second half and that's why I do have them there so I wanted to include those scenes, but I couldn't. So, yeah, in this universe, I have the Astros going to the World Series. So, yeah, we'll be doing this, but for the NL for the next segment. So, yeah, you just saw it, and uh, we'll be doing it there. So, yeah, we'll be seeing you after the break, and we'll talk about it then. So, thanks, and bye. See you then after our to the fifth and final segment. Thanks, and bye.